Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So it is Sunday, and guess what? Tomorrow, one of my biggest positions, actually my biggest position in my portfolio, Neil, will report earnings after hours, and it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough one. It really depends on how the market goes and whether or not the Neil goes up or down because there has been some great companies that have reported insane numbers, like amazing out of this like home run numbers and dropped 5%, 6%, 10%, even though they have beat expectations on every single stat on the board, revenue, profits, everything, everything, EPS, all, everything they beat and the stock still goes down. And for Neil, it, that might actually happen, right? Before I was saying that Neo could hit eighty dollars because you know what the markets are ecstatic they're going crazy everything's everyone's putting money into the market but now the past week the markets have been going down man and look at I'm actually down on my position in Neo my average cost is fifty dollars and we even saw Neo going down to almost close to forty bucks like that's crazy like I was expecting Neo before all this uh panic selling and this little correction they were having before I was expecting Neo to get close to eighty bucks. After earnings, because I believe Neil was going to hit that out of the park. Because look at this. What they're expecting for EPS is nine uh, down uh, negative nine cents. They, might, they most likely will beat that number. Most likely, they might even get close to the positives. And they were saying that they could get uh, profitable maybe by the end of this year or, or next year. And we already know that Neil has ex uh, his big expectations and deliveries in every single month for the quarter. And we know for a fact that most likely, since they beat their expectations for the company cars they've sold and delivered, that they're also going to be they're going to be expectations on revenue. And for guidance, we're gonna, that's going to be the big thing right here. Big thing. We know that the EV market is growing exponentially. They're saying that right now only EVs have been penetrated three percent, and then by the end of the decade, they're expecting fifty percent uh, EV penetration in the markets. I don't know if that's specifically to China or the whole world, but and you know, uh, Neo is going to be one of the big dog, one of the top two, top three, in, with Tesla in China for EVs. So we don't know. I really don't know how what Neo could do if the market is red tomorrow or two Monday or Tuesday. If the markets are red, we might not see the quick effect of how good their earnings are like are because most most people will probably be selling if the markets are down but if the markets are like just like regular day which i actually do i believe that this might be going on for a while interest rates they're saying that interest rates are going to start rising or they're rising now and when that happens the market well you know what that means the market's going to be very very wary of what's going on and what they do and whether or not they want to start stacking cash instead of buying and start shifting their money from tech stocks to other stocks, more undervalued stocks, because tech has honestly been just going up. It's just been going up. And you've been seeing, Neo has been, since February 9th, there has barely been only like one or two days where it's actually been green. And you know what? This is the last day. Today is the last day of February. I still believe Neo will hit anywhere from eighty to one hundred twenty dollars by the end of the year, and you bet you bet if the market keeps going down and if Neo keeps going down, and as soon as I pay off these babies, I'm gonna start buying some more, buying some more, buying hold, buying hold, buying hold, everything. Jumia, I don't know what's going on with Jumia, man. This is for me. This one's gonna be a really a long term hold. I'm not going to be buying as much as I wanted to. This earnings really, for me, was big. And they say that because of the pandemic, they're down in sales. They're losing more money. Like, come on, man. I need to look more into Jumia. Because honestly, I've been busy a lot. And I really need to pay attention to Jumia stock. Because if Jumia continues to fail, which is honestly this last earnings... I don't know why Jumia is not lower than it is right now. I thought that Jumia would hit 30s for how what they're doing. Even though they are expanding, 
hopefully with this pandemic slowing down, because that's what they're saying, it's hurting hurting their their business, that it will Junior will get back on track and get back get back to record revenues and record uh, every, just record everything. Because that's what Jumia needs to do. If you are on the e-commerce side, there is no reason why right now you should be losing, going down. You don't see Amazon going down. You don't see Alibaba going down. Jumia is going down because they say that because of the pandemic, they're not getting as many people buying stuff from their websites. Like, what? That makes no sense. Like, if the pandemic is going on, people should be go buying more stuff from online e-commerce. Like, that's how it usually works. But anyways, this is more. This was more about Neo. What do you think Neil? What Neil is gonna do in this week? I think this week is gonna be crazy, cause I don't know if the market's gonna go up or down. I don't know. I believe that the market sh should keep going down. I still think it's overvalued. I've been saying for a long time. I haven't been buying anything. First of all, cause I'm on margin. I make this clear every time I make a video that I'm on margin and I want to get this margin down. So the goal for me. Get my margin down more before I start buying. Get my margin down more. And the goal for me, 50000 by the end of the year. 50000 by the end of the year is my goal. I will get there no matter what. And stay tuned for the journey. Remember, I'm no financial advisor. I'm just a regular person just like you. And you're going to find out more if you watch more videos about how I am, how my investing strategy is. I've been investing for quite a while, I say three, four years. But, you know, there's much to learn. And there's some things that people can teach me and, you know, some things that people don't know and then that they'll learn from watching the videos. So just hopefully this week is good for all of us, all right? Hopefully it's good for all of us. If you have money on the side and the markets go down, hopefully you guys buy some stuff that you want and get it on a, a discount. I still believe even if the market goes down another 10%, it's still going to be not much of a discount. We would like to see the markets go down more, my honest opinion. And then I will look into buying more things. And remember what the goal, not to put all your money into one thing right away because we don't know how long this little correction or whatever or whatever it is, either if it's a correction, we don't know, or if it's the beginning of a crash. And that would be crazy. And whatever happens, happens. Be ready for it. Be prepared. You got to be prepared for all these things. When the markets are going up, stack your cash. When the markets go down, deploy your cash. So that's it for today. Little quick one. Hopefully, we're going to see how NEO does. I want to see great guidance. That's all I'm looking for. I know that the number is going to be good. They've been doing record numbers. I want to see what their guidance is for the rest of the year or for the next quarter or whatever. I want to see what they have to say. And hopefully, it's some good stuff, you know?